technique video for August. This month, one of our kits included these gorgeous chipboard gates. Um, they, we've ordered them to make them look like wrought iron. And uh, it's a really simple technique, which I thought we thought we'd show you this month. But um, it makes a truly stunning embellishment on a page. So we thought we'd show you how to do it. So let me move the kit out of the way. And these are the gates. They come as a pair, like this and you just have to snip them apart with um, some sturdy scissors and then what we did in the first place was we have inked them and you need quite a juicy black ink pad to do this so you ink them all over because these are laser cut the inside edges of all the swirls and loops that are on the gates uh, are actually black from the laser cutting which is very handy when you're inking them black. It saves you quite a bit of time. So there you are, very quick to do. So this is the before and this is the after. It's the naked chipboard and that's the chipboard inked black. And then, if I turn my paper over so nice and clean, what we do did was we used these metallic rub-on creams and they come in a set of seven and they come in about three or four different colorways. And this is uh, the metallics range. And to get that kind of faux metal look, we've combined some touches of gold and this pewter color. And the real key with this is, first of all, they're in a kind of a wax format. So you need to rub your finger in them. And then, I don't know if you can see, you pick up the color on your finger and then just to add random touches of the metallic cream to your gates and then random touches of the silver as well or the pewter colour. If you don't have these metallic rub-on creams then you could try using rub-on buff or you could try a good quality metallic acrylic paint just a small amount on some kitchen towel and the key with this is to not go mental not go crazy uh, don't cover it all over with the metallic creams because then you'll just end up with gold gates rather than all black gates you want them to be kind of patchy because that's how uh, raw time goes and then you just set that aside and then when it's dried off a little bit, a bit of kitchen towel and buff it up and the excess cream will come off on the kitchen towel and you'll end up with a, a lovely like painted raw iron look. If I show you, this is the patchy, excuse my dirty metallic coloured fingers and then this is the before, this is the after. So that's the technique for this month, very simple, very, very effective and it makes these gates really beautiful and they're very simple to add to your page, a few little dots of um, a good strong adhesive like glossy accents or diamond glaze or something similar holds them onto the page really beautifully. So if you're interested in subscribing to our kits, you can find out more on the subscription kits page on our blog which is www.totalpapercrafts.blogspot.com or you can sign up directly online at totalpapercrafts.co.uk. Hope to see you next month. Take care. Bye.